Welcome everybody. Uh, this is an exciting time. Uh, of course, signing day. With everything that's been going on, uh, not only what we had to adjust to in the fall, but there's a lot of adjusting that uh, we had to go through in recruiting. Without further ado, I'm going to talk a little bit about the class now. Uh, and like I said, really excited about the class and can't say enough about my staff uh, and the work that they have done. So the first uh, is quarterback. All right, this is Liam Thornton. Uh, he is from North Mesquite High School. Came on a visit in the middle part of January. Versatile athlete. He's very typical to the quarterbacks we've had here in the past that have developed into great players. He's athletic, can move around, he's got a strong enough arm, he throws the ball on time. Uh, his head coach actually played with Coach Cash Dollar, who is our uh, offensive line coach, run game coordinator. So recruiting's a lot of connections. And uh, so we do know a lot about this player as far as how he is off the field, and because that's very important to us to making sure that they're OKGs, our kind of guys. So very excited about Liam. Uh, like I said, athletic can move in the pocket and make plays. I think he has a really high ceiling because again, now he played a lot more on defense the you know his sophomore and, and junior junior year. So uh, really excited about him. He's also on academic scholarship here too as well. Uh, next up, I'm going to introduce our new offensive line coach, run game coordinator, uh, Coach Vince Cashdog. All right, first off, uh, appreciate everyone. Um, Following our program, signing day is an awesome day. Um, I remember when I signed, and I think everybody who played college football remembers how special signing day is um, for you and your family. So for us here, and, and especially recruiting offensive line in the overall class, I definitely think it takes an entire staff, um, everybody working together and having multiple voices, including our student athletes, talk to them about what kind of program this is and what it's like to be an academic student here. Specific on the offensive line. The offensive line is a very competitive position. Um, I think we've signed a great class. Uh, moving forward, a, a group of guys that, number one, love football. Uh, number two, are family oriented. We talk about family over everything as part of our program. And for them with their family, um, it's very important to them. And then academically, uh, very, very strong. You know, and, and those things for me as an offensive line coach are really the core of it. You gotta love football, you gotta love your family, and then obviously you gotta love being a great student and being the best version of yourself. Okay, we're gonna start off with here, uh, Talon Wheeler. Uh, Talon comes to us from Broken Arrow High School um, in Oklahoma. Um, Talon is, was the starting right tackle this year. Um, as you can see here at the top, um, Talon physically is what we really look for here in Emporia State. Uh, big, physical, a young man that's going to develop. He's a multi-sport athlete at Broken Arrow. He's a very good student as well. Um, this young man loves playing football. Um, he loves being physical up front. He worked at it his entire career, and he's definitely willing to take two steps through the whistle and finish blocks. Uh, had a great high school coach um, that I was fortunate to have a relationship with, um, and knowing kind of the level of coaching that he had in high school, and then how hard he's worked at it to earn this opportunity, um, is what makes him really special. I'm really excited about him moving forward. Okay, next up, uh, we have Logan Butler. Uh, Logan comes to us from Frisco, Texas, played Memorial High School. Uh, Logan was a multi-year starter. Um, on, these, on this film, Logan's playing tackle. Um, his junior year, he played center, and as a projection here at Emporia State, I see Logan coming in as a center. Um, as far as football-wise goes, I love the fact that he can play multiple positions. He is also another multi-sport athlete. He does uh, power lifting right now, and then we'll do track and field coming up in the spring. And then as far as football-wise goes, um, I think Logan's best football is ahead of him. All right? He really works at the game. He loves playing football. He's a great family. Um, and I think he's a guy that's going to come in here. He's going to earn a lot, and he's going to really work at it to be a great center for us. And, and as an offensive line coach, I know as a center, you got to be great academically, which is what he is, and be very physical. So very excited about Logan. Caleb Nott, playing right tackle here, um, is a local product from Wichita Northwest. Um, I see Caleb transitioning to Emporia State as a pure tackle. Um, Caleb is all six foot six, um, probably weighs about 325, long, um, moves very well. Um, again, great family. I know it's a common theme that we've talked about so far. Awesome family through the recruiting process. Um, and Caleb's been great. Um, he's very academically oriented. He's gonna come to Emporia State for nursing, and that was really important for him. 
uh, moving forward. So I see Caleb as a young man that's going to come here and again, definitely be a tackle for us. It has all the measurables we look for when it comes to being a tackle and then the intangibles to go with it. Kobe Rashears um, is from Slater, Missouri. Um, Kobe's a young man that we've really recruited for a while. He was playing right tackle, he placed tackle on film. Again, finisher on tape, is willing to go two steps through the whistle, is a three sport athlete at Slater, also plays hoops, all right, does track and field. He was our first commit um, on the offensive line and he has been nothing but unbelievable through the whole process and is a hornet through and through. Um, his family is very, very important to Kobe and they were, it was very important for him to be a, a place that he was going to get a chance to have him see him play in college. Um, as far as a translation to college, I see Kobe coming in and being a very, very good guard for us. All right? I see Kobe as a guy that can transition to tackle as he works through the development process but is going to come in immediately and help the Hornets at guard. He was an all-state performer, all-district, and all-conference as well as academically very, very high. Uh, next up, we're going to move over to the defensive side. So I'm going to bring up our defensive coordinator, linebacker coach, uh, Coach Nathan Lindsay. Starting off with the defensive side of the ball here, I'm going to talk about Reed Cowan. Uh, most of you probably recognize this name. Um, black and gold runs through this family's blood. The uh, parents both played sports here at Emporia State. Brother Dalton is already on our team. Uh, his twin sister is going to play soccer here. They do have one outlier that, that goes to uh, the Tigers out west, but very excited about Reed uh, and what he's going to bring to the table. Um, played quarterback and defensive end for them at Seaman High School. Um, here you get a chance to see Reed get out and run a little bit. Really like his length. All right, he's about 6'2 and a half, 6'3, uh, 205 pounds. Dealing with a little bit of a shoulder injury right now. Should be cleared here in a couple of weeks. I'm looking for him to put some more weight back on, but very excited about what he's going to bring to the table for us at our outside linebacker spot. We're going to stay on the defensive side of the football. Uh, I'm going to introduce our next coach. Uh, our assistant head coach, defensive line coach, Coach Mike Laporto, is going to visit about our defensive line. Hey guys, look forward to uh, introducing you guys uh, to CJ Adams, uh, who is our newest defensive lineman here at Emporia State. Uh, one thing about CJ comes from Eden, Oklahoma, a program that we've had a lot of success with in the past. Uh, i got a handful of really, really good alumni that played here at Emporia State, and I uh, look forward to adding CJ and a kid from that program into the uh, defensive line room. Um, as you film that up, as you get uh, on film here with CJ, uh, one thing about him, length, uh, he jumps right off the screen, he's probably 6'2", a little bit longer, his wingspan, um, it's longer than what his height is. Going to be explosive. He's raw. Uh, he played running back when he was younger. Kind of transitioned to defensive line uh, as he got into high school ranks. A big time basketball player. Going to be a double double kid um, on the basketball court. Moves really well. I think transitions to be able to play our a uh, couple different positions up front. Uh, but uh, number one thing about him is uh, high upside, high motor. Um, workman, uh, work, workman like mentality um, is going to come in and do a lot of good things for us. So excited about CJ and you know, hopefully uh, just carry on the torch to the next phase of the defensive line here before the state. All right, talking about the last line of defense uh, will be our new secondary coach. Uh, coach Eric Moore is going to visit with you about our defensive back signings. So, like Coach Hayden said, uh, new here, just joined the staff in March. Very excited about our uh, defensive backs class to add on to what we already had here in house. Uh, we're going to have three of these guys, uh, two of them signing today, and then the other one, he's actually a part of our team right now. He's a mid year guy. Uh, first one we're going to start with is Devin Johnson. So, Devin, he's from John Marshall uh, High School down in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, on his film, you'll see him playing a lot of offense. Um, his senior year, he played a lot of running back. In his junior year, he actually played a lot of quarterback. Uh, we're going to start Devin out on the defensive side of the ball. If you watch his film again, you'll see him do some of the things that uh, we like to see our cornerbacks be able to do. Um, just change directions. Uh, a lot of things with the ball in his, ball in his hand. Uh, and again, he's just a guy that we look forward to having a big upside here at Emporia State. Next guy we're going to talk about is Christian Carrera. He's from uh, Dumas High School out in West Texas. Uh, we have really good ties with Dumas High School. 
Uh, coach Higgins actually coached two of their coaches, their head coach and their defensive backs coach, head coach being Coach Aaron Dunham, and then defensive backs coach being Coach Lynn Scott. Uh, if you see on, once you see on the field, hear from Christian Pereira. He's got great size. He's about six one and a half, six two. He's going to be number three here playing cornerback. Uh, his physicality also uh, lets me know that he can be a easy adjustment to move inside at safety. So he's going to start off at cornerback for us. Uh, understand that he could move inside. Got some good ball skills, but again, his great length and physicality is a big, big reason of why we really like Christian Pereira and think he's going to have a really good uh, upside here. So the next guy we're going to talk about is Chris Ellis. Um, he's actually a mid-year guy, uh, part of our team right now. As you're going to see on the field, Chris Ellis, Cornerbacks, I like to see those guys have the ball in their hand as much as possible. His first two appearance, you see him returning the kickoff. Uh, Chris is from Topeka West, so he's right here in our backyard. Uh, very excited to have him on campus. Again, I think he's going to be a great, great piece to the puzzle. I'm on the back end trying to get guys covered. Him just showing up on film, that aggression, that's what we're looking for in our defensive backs. Okay, uh, next up. I'm going to bring up our newly hired uh, coach Tyler Harris, who played uh, here at Emporia State, was also a graduate assistant for us uh, for two years, and was a great receiver. And now it's, he's going to pass that knowledge on to uh, to the receivers that are playing here now. So I'm going to bring him up real quick and have him talk about the wide receivers, Coach Tyler Harris. Um, how's it going guys? I am extremely happy to have been hired on. Um, I love playing receiver here, uh, being GA here, and then uh, being able to take the position I'm in now. I'm extremely excited. I know that there's an extremely high standard of uh, the receivers that play here and that we all hold ourselves to. Um, and so that really was a pretty big uh, process, a big thing that we hit on when we were recruiting uh, receivers for this small class. Um, first up, uh, out of Cash in Oklahoma, the city's been uh, big for us. Um, he's a state champion, uh, number 10 up here, Brexton Green, you'll see him. Um, he's a little bit shorter, um, but he is probably one of the strongest guys that we signed in this class. Uh, you'll see him be extremely patient with the ball in his hands and he'll squeeze through there. Um, we're excited, excited about him, excited what he can do with the ball in his hands after the catch. Um, a little bit, uh, we're not really sure exactly what position he'll play, either slot or outside for us. Um, he can do some pretty good things, uh, and we're excited about him. Bring, bringing that uh, blue collar mentality to the wide receiver room, and uh, he's a good locker room guy as well. So we're excited and we're fired up about him. Uh, next up is uh, Dalton Norman out of uh, Iola, Oklahoma, uh, about 30 miles east of the uh, Tulsa area. Uh, I'm extremely excited about him as well, uh, and uh, being involved in this signing class. He's a little bit taller, about 6'2", uh, weighing about 180. He's extremely polished, and when I say that, I mean the things that he does with his hands uh, in, in his routes, besides just catching the ball, are extremely impressive. Uh, what you don't see out of a lot of high schools, you see him, he's great with his feet, getting his hips around back to the quarterback uh, and going up in high point football. It's extremely impressive. Um, we got on his recruiting a little bit late. Uh, thankfully, his coach sent uh, Coach Higgins an email uh, in January, actually, and uh, we jumped in on his recruiting and we're fortunate enough to go get him. And uh, excited about him, he's got a very high ceiling and uh, we'll see what he can do as he has a uh, Corey State horn. All right, uh, staying on the offensive side of the football, uh, bring up our running back coach, uh, who's also our strength and conditioning coach, does a great job. Also was played here uh, at Emporia State, Coach Danny Goodman. Hey, how's everyone doing? My name's Daniel Goodman, head strength and conditioning coach, running backs and tight ends coach here at Emporia State. I'm really excited about the 2021 class. We're gonna introduce two running backs that we have signed. Um, one is from Lake Highlands, Texas, uh, down in Dallas. He is a uh, quarterback, his name is Mitch Colson. We're moving him from quarterback to running back. Uh, he accounted for over 2,000 all-purpose yards and over 30 touchdowns in his senior season um, at Lake Highlands. His mom, Cindy, is actually an alum, so it's great to have another Hornet in the family. Uh, he's an explosive athlete, standing 5'11", 180. Uh, he can really do it all. Um, so we see him being a, a threat offensively, you know, multiple facets being split out. You know, obviously at running back, we do a lot of things with those guys here in Florida State. And then as you can see, once he gets in the open field, he's gone. He's not going to be getting caught. You know, elusive athlete. So again, he has phenomenal vision. You can see, you know, see the holes. You can, as you guys can see on the film, the transition from quarterback to running back is going to be extremely easy for him as he had the ball in his hands every play. 
The second running back we want to talk about is mid-year transfer, Kanan Brooks. He comes from us from uh, the University of South Dakota, where he played uh, the first two seasons. He had over 600 rushing yards and six touchdowns uh, while he was up there part of the Kiowa football team. Uh, before then, in high school, he was at Lutheran North, which is located in St. Louis, Missouri. He had over 1,400 yards rushing, over 30 touchdowns, averaged 9.8 yards of carry. Um, you know, it was an all-city, all-metro, all-conference, all-state running back in high school. Uh, as you guys are going to see on the film, he's a tough physical runner. He breaks a lot of tackles, but doesn't really get tackled. Um, you know, just going the distance, has the speed, and what we're looking for at the running back position to make an immediate impact for us. So that's a look at our class, uh, our signing, signing class for this year. And as I said, really excited about these guys. Uh, not a big number. Uh, but uh, a really good group that we're excited about developing uh, and we're also looking forward to uh, getting started with spring football. Uh, we do have a couple of uh, upcoming uh, scrimmages that we're going to do against some outside competition that we're excited about doing in April. Uh, we will be sending out some information in regards uh, to those events in April. So again, Fired up about getting going, fired up about Emporia State football. Uh, looking forward to hopefully seeing uh, our fans, alumni, at some spring practices, and as I said, uh, a couple of our, our spring scrimmages against outside competition. Have a great day. Stay safe. Steam's up.